I've got a couple of really cool images for you today from ESA. One is an image of Earth taken from space, and the other is an image of space taken from Earth. This really striking image was taken by the Copernicus Sentinel-1 satellite and shows circular structures in the deserts of Saudi Arabia. Whilst you might guess that this is a military installation or perhaps oil storage tanks, this area is actually used to grow food. Each circle is about one kilometer in diameter and has a central pivot irrigation system at its center, which is a rotating sprinkler that irrigates the crops using water pulled from underground aquifers. The composite image is composed of three separate images captured by Sentinel-1 in October of 2024 and January and May of 2025, with these images colored blue, green, and red, respectively. By putting these images on top of each other, you can get a sense of how the land use has changed over the nine or so months. Black circles indicate those areas not currently being cultivated, while other colors indicate changing use over time. For example, the pure red circles only started growing crops around May of 2025, while the purple would result from a combination of blue and red, meaning crops were growing there in both January and May. It's a super interesting way to map and land use using the satellite's radar system, and the really crazy thing is just how far you can zoom into the image to get more detail, as you can see here. Today's second image is from the discovery that star PDS-66 may not be alone in the cold dark of space after all. The image on the right was taken in 2017 with the Atacama Large Millimeter Array at 230 gigahertz and showed no signs of a gap in the disk around the star that indicates the presence of a planet. Okay, I know, boo-hoo, PDS-66 is lonely. Well, not so fast. Astronomers went back in 2022 and took another look at a longer wavelength of 3 millimeters corresponding to 100 gigahertz. In a new paper in Nature Astronomy, they report that they do see evidence for a gap in the disk at this frequency. In addition to that, astronomers looking at data from ESA's recently concluded Gaia mission believe they can see a wobble in the star's motion that would indicate the presence of a gas giant planet around PDS-66. So there you go, not so lonely after all. And I'll include a link to the paper in the description, and you can find more amazing images from the week over at the ESA website. That's today's video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.